Okay, uh, I wanted to test this power supply. Oh, excuse me. Because of the clicking noise it was making when I was testing with that other motherboard that turned out to be bad. I do have my test board. This is this is a board here. I get it in, in the in a zoom. Like, yeah. So this is the motherboard I fixed earlier by changing the these capacitors out. So I know this is a good motherboard. So let's just check this out. Oh, look at that. That even has this. What? I believe that has even the same BIOS chip. How how's this old old board have the same that can't be the same one. I must have the memory in that wrong. But so I'm gonna put this board into this case. Uh, I'm not gonna strap it down or not, and I'm I just the cable management and it has you know it's all cable managed into this case. So I don't wanna undo all that, so I'm putting the motherboard, you know into this case so here everything should match up you see if anything's not matching up so yeah everything's everything's all the all the standoffs that do that are under the board line up with holes that should so here's the well maybe i have to add a screw in because it's just what the turn it is any of these the right kind of screw no Okay, a standoff actually is the uh, <laughs> thumb screw is actually actually working. Okay, that's good. Probably put another one in just just to be double sure it's not gonna try to move because that power cord is like super like tight in there. So there's that. I got two thumb screws in there holding that in. So I got the 24 pin in first. Oh, and it just barely like like look at this you see this it's like this is tight in here it barely fits hopefully it fits so yeah it barely fit okay power button they definitely can't get in there they're they're tight uh super tight and where's my button at now there it is so here i'm gonna hook mine in since these wires won't run up there it's a power button right here should be this one. No, uh, my lord, this thing's back upside. The 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 one on this board is that upside down. So, so this would be that. This would be this one right here, right? Okay. Hooking in the power. It's the switch is off right now. So you just hit this button here. You see if this. Okay. And I forgot to hook the cable in. So you just shut this down. Ooh. That didn't sound good though, cutting that off. Sound a little iffy. Okay, let's try this again. Now I just fixed this board, so I know this board is working. I did not like the sound of that power supply made though. So here we go again. I have the the video hooked up. So once it turns on, okay, power switch is on. Fan spin. Let's come up to the monitor. See what it's gonna do. Um, nothing. What is going on? Okay, it is hooked in and it's not doing nothing. Yeah, it's not even shutting down. Okay, 
that's the DVD ROM. Let's shut this back down again. At the force that it's not wanting to turn off. Let's unhook this DVD ROM because it's making a noise. Let's try this again. Okay, this is a gnome working gnome working motherboard. See, I keep hearing it clicking. I don't know if the camera will pick that up, but I can hear a slight click to it. Why isn't my board turning on now? Well. Okay. Um, okay, what in the heck? Like... <laughs> Man, I'm gonna check another board, I guess. But I just, this board was working perfectly fine. can hear a weird noise like I don't I can't describe it I don't know if the if the if the mic's gonna pick it up but I can hear like a crackly sound when this thing turns on Is this on a, on the wrong input? You still seeing the input, right? So you see uh, display DVI. Okay, what the? Let's do auto switch on. Save and return. Searching. No signal. It's <laughs> Did I just like cook this motherboard with this power supply? I'm gonna dig another power supply. Another. I'm gonna hook my power supply in and see what's going on here. Hopefully, I just didn't like destroy a motherboard that I just fixed. Cause that that'd be something else. Okay. You know, I I do have one more. I guess I could say one more sacrificial motherboard. Or well, I have two technically. Two, 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 two motherboards. Technically. So, I'm going to hook my 650 watt power supply up and test this motherboard again and see if I just, just like cooked it. I can smell a little bit electrical. I can smell that man I wish video could smell because I can kind of I, I can say this board is probably shot now because yeah it kind of kind of has a little little smell to it wish it would have been like poof and you know all this white smoke but no it just kind of like just doesn't do anything okay Man, come on. Turn on this time. Like, this is... Okay, so now I got my power supply hooked in. Nothing. Seriously? Seriously? 
seriously. Okay, scanning. Yeah, I'm getting nothing. I'm still in Fortnite over there. Uh, yeah, I'm not getting anything on a, on this motherboard out there hooking to this power supply. Man. Uh, so, I'm assuming this motherboard is bad now after hooking it up to this power supply. So, did this power supply, did this power supply kill this motherboard and maybe even the CPU? Kind of seems like it because it just, it just killed my motherboard. And you seen the motherboard working. I have a video posted of it working after replacing the capacitors in it working perfectly fine I had a, had a drive hooked up to him was booting Windows 7 and now you can kind of smell kind of hot if you ever like a heater like that's been off you know like all summer then you go to turn it back on you can smell a heat you know like the like the wall like a yeah like a wall heater or something or a little portable heater you smell like that dust burning smell so I kind of smell a slight burnt smell so yeah uh, I think my motherboard is dead well it doesn't that that's what this board was for it sacrificed itself so I didn't ruin any other good motherboards on it because if he would have bought a new motherboard for it I'm trying to if he would have just burned up a new motherboard I could open this up check it see what's wrong with it yeah hey well there goes that motherboard